So blueberries are blue because they contain this family of compounds called anthocyanins. Now anthocyanins are unique. <coughs> Here's what happens. If you take blueberry and you make blueberry jam, now jam contains only four ingredients, fruit, sugar, water, and lemon juice. When you make blueberry jam <coughs> at home, you will find that it is pink in color. This is because the anthocyanins, the color that they exhibit, depends on the pH of the solution that they are in. <coughs> All colored fruits and flowers, no, not flowers, fruits have anthocyanins in them. Take red cabbage, for example. Take red cabbage, boil it in water. Save the water. It will be purple in color. <coughs> now, add that water to vinegar and it will change color. Make a solution of detergent powder and add that water to the detergent powder. It will become a different color. You can generate a whole spectrum of colors in the kitchen just by playing with the pH of the solution. This is how <coughs> it works. It's the nature's version of litmus paper, anthocyanins.